So I'm about to show y'all how I touch my lace up. Don't mind me looking how I'm looking. And don't mind this, you guys. I'm trying to get rid of this spot, but it seems that it's getting worse. Like, well, I actually see it doing something, but look at my face. Like, it's peeling. But I have a whole video on this stuff when I say tingles coming. So, yeah, I'm going to show you how to touch the lace because I'm um, touching my frontal because I don't see I got a few pieces um, lifting coming up. We need to fix this lace. We need to clean it back up because it's, you know, a little clumpy because of the glue. I mean, the gel we use for the edges. So, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this thing back right. How we're going to get that right. Ooh. Hold on. So to clean everything up, what we're gonna need, why is that like that? What we're gonna need is we're gonna need some rubbing alcohol. And this is I have the 50% one. Just some regular alcohol from Q tips. Um so we can clean it. I'm gonna clip all my other hair back. But I'm still cute and pretty. So, whoever says something different, they lied to me. I'm gonna take my clip and just clip my hair back so it's not getting in the way, okay? And over here, too, of the way. And I'm gonna just take. I took the edge brush and just an edge brush. Y'all know what an edge brush is. Brush the edges out to loosen them and um, kind of move them out the way of where you're going to be cleaning it up at. So, yeah, let's look. Let's take a thumbnail. That's, that's not cute. Like, you see, that's not cute. Oh, see you got glue. Mm -mm. Build it. This is build it. My hair probably been done for like two weeks or a week now. All I'm doing is taking a Q-tip and the places where it's like glue at. I'm loosening it up, like I'm pulling it off. You don't want to get it on the lace because you don't want the parts that are down to come up, but you want to get this glue off. <laughs> y'all see how it's like, let me see if y'all can't see, y'all see how it's like, um, the glue kind of coming out. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me maybe turn this way. So, I'm just taking it and I'm just kind of like pushing down like to get the glue off. And y'all see, it's glue. So now that I've cleaned it up, and I got it as clean as possible because, like I said, I don't want to get too close to the lace and pull any um pull any of the lace up that's already down. Now I'm gonna take my oh gosh, I'm gonna take my glue and I use this glue right here. It's the Ghost Bombs glue. Um, you can get it at the beauty supply store. This is the one with the, this is the XL one. This is, oh yeah, this is the Ghost Bun XL. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these hairs, these baby hairs, and try to push them out the way, just so that 
it's not like you know getting glued down or anything so it does feel like the lace coming up and we don't want that we want our hair to look fire like right here i couldn't really get that much glue off because it's so close to the lace like it's so close we got go we got a piece coming up right there and on the sides so now Now that the hair and the baby hairs are all pushed back, just take it. And then I take something small. You can take a toothbrush if you want. And I just take a little bit of the glue and I put it on the um, tip of the brush. And I just pull the spot up that's coming up. And I just put a little thin layer. Nothing, you don't want too much because you don't want it to seep through because this is just a touch up. So this means I'm not gonna use my blow dryer. If you're doing a small layer like this anyway, it's gonna hurt and turn clear like it is. I have laid my frontal back down, so now I'm about to show y'all how to get these edges back right, okay? So we're just gonna pull all these edges out. We're gonna get us a little bit of edge from over here, because when I first did my hair, I didn't really have, I didn't put no edges over here. So, y'all, for y'all, my daddy in the background, I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, I didn't mean I can just. Talking, like. All right. So we got everything out for the edges, right? What we're gonna do is I would take some foam, like some foam, ebon foam, and loosen these, um, loosen them up. But I mean, I can't because. I don't got any, and the hair's still close. So that's why I was using the residues on the alcohol that was left over on the Q-tip to kind of loosen them up, you know, spread them out, you know, don't make them be so hard. So for your baby hairs, you're just gonna take the first little layer of the perimeter of your head. So hold on, let me get some edge control. I just went on, got my flat iron, I mean my curling iron, my hot comb, and my wax stick for after we get done. And you know, we try to spruce speed it. So, you gonna make sure, make sure you got you some, some scissors. So you know, you got you some baby hairs that's long, you know, cause I just pulled out some extra ones. Make sure you got some scissors to cut those. So I think I'm gonna want it. I think I'm gonna do a middle part. So if I do a middle part, this is gonna go swoop. Right? Whatever. I'm gonna swoop it this way. So we got a piece right there. I'm gonna change my part to a middle part. So we're just gonna swoop. Just gonna cut. It's best if you have some like hair shears. Cause they're not gonna be, you don't want the things to be so jagged. And then now what you gonna do, you're just gonna play with it. Y'all see that though? That's too long, right? That's not cute. We do not wanna be them girls. We just gonna play with it, just gonna play with it. <laughs>
finish the edges i'm not gonna show y'all these because they look trash like i always can do maybe one side of my head get it better than the other but whatever because we're gonna have some middle part so it don't even matter how they look i'm just gonna lay these down <sighs> and then we're just gonna part our hair down the middle since we're gonna have us a nice nice middle part So I'm gonna just go ahead and start forming it. So I'm taking my wax stick and this is my Lustrous Renutrients Slick Stick. You wanna see? Yeah, I just got it from the hair store. It smells really good. It has this avocado and coconut. It smells really, really good. So I'm just gonna start sticking it down. This is gonna help with any flyaways. In order to get that part straight, we're gonna just split the hair in half. Like so. So y'all wanna see what I'm doing, I'm gonna speed up. This is already hot, it gets hot really quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> Blend it in, like. Make sure you work it in, see, like it look like we really got that nice part. But really, we out here pulling these folks, thinking it just a little. Like, I just tap because I don't want too much because I don't want nothing getting in here. And now just blend it into the loop. Like we got us a whole scalp show here. Like it looked like it's a little creaky. Do we look like it's creaky? I don't know. I don't even know, but I don't even care. Um. Yeah. So we just defined that some more. And once again, we're going to just round it out, loose, stir, and you'll 
pull in your friend because you're gonna go behind it and you're gonna smooth it. And um I'm not gonna strain the hair just because that's not what I wanna do. I just wanted to show y'all how I touch my frontal back up and I go from looking crusty back to looking like I just did my hair, I just got it done, slayed, 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 period, pool. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you bamboozy back to my next video.